Hello, I'm Kelly Glosser, and this is a history moment brought to you by the FUMC Archives and History Committee, led by Margaret Mock, our church archivist. This is history moment is to remind you of the tremendous impact that Francis Asbury had on the founding and growth of the Methodist Church in the United States. Francis Asbury arrived in the colonies on October 27, 1771. He was sent by John Wesley to be superintendent of a small group of Anglicans calling themselves Methodists. This October, Methodists in the United States and Great Britain are celebrating the 250th anniversary of his arrival in the colonies. Francis Asbury spent the rest of his life nurturing the cause of Methodism in the American colonies and after the Revolution, the United States. In addition to supervising the development of the Methodist Church, along with Bishop Koch and other leaders, he preached countless sermons in churches, homes, and in, even in forest clearings. Asbury started Methodist schools and oversaw the selection of itinerant preachers, local ministers, and bishops. During his 45-year ministry, Asbury crisscrossed the young nation from large cities to the frontier on horseback and in a variety of carts, wagons, and finally a light carriage. He never had a permanent home or family. On his journey to reach the 1860 General Conference in Baltimore, he was forced by illness to stop at George Arnold's home in Spotsylvania County, where he died on March 31st. 1816. His remains were removed to Baltimore for a funeral conducted by the members of the General Conference. It was estimated that 20 to 30,000 mourners followed his funeral procession. A road marker on County Route 738 commemorates his death place and a memorial exists on the site of George Arnold's home. However, Access to the memorial is currently blocked by no trespassing and postage signs. Asbury's contributions to advancing Methodism were vast, including in our area. His legacy offers us in the present day an example of someone who ministered to those outside the walls of the church in the changing context of culture in his era. As Methodism calls all of us to be part of making disciples of Jesus for the transformation of the world. How might Asbury's dedication inspire all of us for ministry within the current challenges of our world today? It's worth some pondering and prayers as we offer thanks for all who made a way for our current journey in faith.